welcome and welcome back to my channel i am kimmy b22 and in today's video by the title i will be doing a recap of 2020 listen 2020 was one hell of a year i go ahead and get into today's video if you are not already please go ahead and subscribe to my channel y'all we are almost at two thousand subscribers we are at 1700 right now i believe and we're literally 300 away i'm just amazed at all the support that you guys gave me in 2020 because i hit a thousand subscribers in august and we're already in june and we're already in january and i'm almost at 2000 subscribers like it's mind-blowing that my channel is expanding this much but let's get into today's video first i want to start by saying welcome to 2021 i pray that for you all 2021 is the best year ever i pray that you all had time to find yourself and love on yourself in 2020 and now just expand and floor i am thankful for so many things a little rundown the first couple months of the year you know i was in grad school and i was doing therapy and i was just enjoying life because i really enjoyed doing therapy and then i graduated in may may 14th was my graduation date although i did not get to walk across stage it was an accomplishment for me to get my masters because i never thought that i would actually even get my masters like my thought when i graduated undergrad was that that was it for me I wasn't going back to school I wasn't getting a master's but I decided to go back I got a master's and I, it blew my mind expectations that I had for myself God had a better plan for me so one of the things that I wanted to do like what I always say this when I was in grad school was to get good grades I graduated magnum cum laude and that was that was above my expectation I was just one of the 3.0 cum laude okay but above my expectation I graduated magna cum laude I was elected the secretary and treasury of the honor society and yes it was just a great half first half of the year um and then we all know that the later half of the year God took me through a roller coaster and when I say a roller coaster I have the half the second half of the year i had some wins but i also had a lot of losses and we talked about this on my channel but just a recap in july i took my licensure exam failed my licensure exam august i gained a thousand subscribers so that was a win september i had started my house well i had started my home buying process in like august um like june or august but i was really in it in september and god kept telling me that i was not ready for my house the house that he had for me was not ready um and i just kept pushing it i said that i want this house i'm ready to move i want my own space we all know that this lovely house that i live in thank you that god has kept a roof over my head it's not mine it's my mama's and my daddy's <laughs> but um i have outgrown this space and i just was doing everything in my power to move and buy my house because i felt like i was ready and God was like, this house is not ready for you. I need you to slow down. I have some stuff in store for you, but you need to wait. And I bypassed everything that he was saying to me. And I kept going with the process. And then he said, well, if you won't stop, I'm going to make you stop. And so he shut it all down. Y'all know he shut it all down. And I didn't talk about this, but basically I ran into some things with my student loans and it started dropping my credit because I wasn't on a payment plan. Um, it's different with when you're in undergrad. When you're in undergrad, they give you six months of deference of deferment. Um, but when you're in grad school, well, so I have a loan with Sally Mae and usually with the federal loans, you know, they give you six months deferment and things like that. But with Sally Mae, Sally Mae did not give me that option. Um, I had a one private loan with them when I was an undergrad. Honey, when I graduated May 14th, when my my papers were submitted and closed out for for um, grad school, honey, Sally Mae wanted their money, okay? So I was on like a $75 payment plan, which I kept paying because I thought I had six months to pay that. No, they gave me one week after after my graduation and they wanted their money and so because I wasn't paying the amount that they wanted me to pay I then had they started dropping my credit because I technically was not um I wasn't paying what they wanted so they I started to be late um but I didn't know I just thought that you know I still had six months 
So I dropped my credit and then I was working with, I have a realtor which she's, she's wonderful. She's black and I love her. And so we were working with one lender and the communication with him sucked. Like I hated it. He did not respond in a timely manner. He did not give me a lot of feedback for some of the things that I was submitting to him. And then we decided to move and shift other ways and we went to another um, lender. And when I went to that lender because my credit was dropping and then he had pulled my credit for the house loan but then she didn't pull it the house loan but then she had to pull my credit and my credit was just all jacked up and you know they were like we're gonna have to repair your credit in order for you to start this home buying process so i stopped my home buying process in october i paid off some things i got into a payment plan with sally may which i'm fine with them now they're no longer dropping my credit and so we said that we would start a six month process and then and we would allow time for my credit to build within six months and then we would start back in april so i'm praying this time around when i start the house that god has for me is available for me to move out i went through a lot emotionally um and spiritually i will say that i come on here and i will tell you guys and i will try to motivate you guys and i will be honest a lot of times when i got off camera i was not feeling well spiritually i have always had a great relationship with god but this year itself towards the end of the year i was not all the way there spiritually because i just felt like why was i going through all of this why why wasn't i accomplishing and getting the jobs because y'all know that i was telling y'all i went on so many jobs and i was hearing no after no after no i even had a job reach out to me a couple jobs reach out to me and it was still no 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 and i was just so disappointed felt like i wasn't worthy enough good enough and learned started to learn about my trauma some of my past traumas from my childhood started to come out and I'm going to do a video on that because one of you guys asked me um, about how has social work changed my perspective in life. And I'm going to tell you about that because it has opened up a lot about my trauma. And so yeah, I, I went through a lot. I had a lot of accomplishments but I had a lot of hard fails that which weren't necess necessarily no's or failures they were lessons um but those were hard for me because those were something that i really wanted and if you know me personally i am a person that i grind i work what i want i get <laughs> and so to just to not get what i want when i wanted it it was very hard for me and you know spiritually I was not all the way together so then I started a weight loss journey started a weight loss journey had to stop that weight loss journey that I was on for so I started a weight loss journey in about June and then I was working out with a trainer that trainer was not what I needed I didn't see the results that I needed so left that trainer started working with the new trainer things got better then <laughs> I don't even know why I'm about to tell y'all this but then in November, I had a pregnancy scare. Oh my God, y'all, I'm not perfect. I am not perfect. After that, you guys, I hit the hardest breakdown in my life. Um, I went through emotions because I really do want to be a mother one day. Um, I know that I'm going to be a mother. I know that I'm going to be married. But I went through so many emotions because I really want a baby. Like I really want a baby but I have all of these other things that I want to do. Um, I want to be married. So it was really hard because I just was like you know I kind of felt like well why am I not you know all of these things like I want to have a baby I'm not having a baby I want to have a house I don't have a house I want this job I don't have this job I want to pass my exam I'm I haven't passed my exam so all of that kind of crashed down on me in November and in November honey I was a wreck I mean I was doing videos for you guys but honestly I was a wreck internally I was crying a lot I was not happy with just my circumstances I knew that things were getting better but I just was not happy with my circumstances and so I was crying every day I was crying every single day I would go on drives and I would just cry and I would just vent to God I honestly got to a point where I started to talk to God like you know tell him like I hate you because of X, Y, Z. This has never been me before, but this has been the hardest part. Again, we're in this pandemic. I can't go anywhere. I'm not 
with I'm not talking to some of the friends that I used to talk to because God has expanded my territory and he said everybody cannot go so I felt alone I felt unwanted um I didn't have a baby I wasn't pregnant so I didn't have a baby um I didn't have a house I just felt like my world like God was not you know he didn't have anything for me like I just felt like I was here to please other people to be a therapist and an open ear to other people but I felt like I was not accomplishing anything in my life like God was not blessing me and I'm just being honest that's how I felt and I would cry every single day but I was still working out so I was happy about that because I was losing weight but I was crying every single day and it was the same thing I would go to work I would wake up I would go to work I would go work out I would come home and before I went to sleep I would just cry <laughs> I would cry because I was just sad. Constant routine. Um, even though I had a thousand subscribers, it wasn't monetized, and I was just I was just sad. Like I was just sad. I was sick and tired of being sick and tired of of hearing no's and not now and allow more time. And then something hit me, and it's really sad and it's really emotional for me because. So I started to, oh my god, I'm about to cry already. So I started to get back into who I am and I heard this voice and my angels because I have some amazing angels up there covering me, right? So I have some major angel, angels and I was thinking about going to therapy because again, I started to, um, yeah, I'm crying. I started to, you know realized that I'm, a lot of my traumas were showing and that I needed to go to therapy and a voice kept telling me you don't need to th go to therapy you need to connect with God like you have all the tools you need right now to connect with God and so the reason why I was going back and forth with therapy was because again I'm trying to still save money I'm not trying to put out too much money right now because I'm trying to buy a house so I'm still trying to you know, I didn't want to, I had the means to do it, but I didn't want to really do it. And then I was driving, I was in the house one day and something said, you need to try God. You need to try God again because you're about to do amazing things. And if you give up on him, you're going to regret this thing. And you're going to regret this for your the rest of your life. So I remember I was in here, I was crying and something said, you need to go get a journal and you need to take your Bible because I have my Bible in my car because when I go to church, I just take my Bible out of my car um, and then I just leave it in my car. So I never had my Bible. I never brought my Bible in the house. So this entire time I wasn't reading my Bible, I would wake up and read my daily affirmations on the Bible app. But that was it. God. And I have never read my Bible like front to back. I know the Bible, but I have never read it front to back. And that was something that was in me the entire time. Like, you need to read the Bible. You need to read the Bible. You need to read the Bible. And I was just breaking down and I was crying. And I drove to Marshall's. And on my way to Marshall's, I was just bawling, crying, talking to myself, you know, talking to the Lord. And I got these. And, you know, on my way there, something says, your breakthrough is about to come. So I get these journals, I buy the two journals, um, I come home and I start reading my Bible. And I say that I'm going to do this every single day. Every single day I'm going to do this. And some of the things that I was emotional about, I don't know why, but my first, the first book that I read was Psalms. And it started talking about forgiveness. And, and that was something that I was just like, because forgiveness of other people, that was something that was making me sad, you know. And then on December 15th, so this is the sad part of my life. So on December 15th, my grandmother passed away when I was 16, 15. I don't know the exact age. I was in the ninth grade. My grandmother, we found her dead in her home. And on December 15th, 2020... I had a dream and I had a dream that my mom and my grandmother were downstairs and it just felt so real it just felt so real so my mom and my grandmother were downstairs and I kept looking at my mom but I kept looking back at my grandmother because I'm like this feels so real and in the dream 
I kept saying she's not there she's not really there like she's not really there this is the dream and in the dream she grabbed my hand and I felt her hand and I was so scared I was so scared and I woke up I was like oh my god like God is about to do something in my life and there was a specific word that and I don't want to share it. there was a specific saying that she was saying that she was saying when um I met with her and when she said that it reassured everything and I woke up and I told my mom about it and my mom has been knowing that I've been going through this phase and feeling the way <clears throat> And feeling the way that I've been feeling and my mom said that was your reassurance <laughs> y'all when I tell you I got some angels up there watching over me <laughs> they watching over you girl so oh my god I thought I said I would never cry on YouTube but never say never um so from then oh my god I'm crying oh my god I'm crying hold on hold on I'm back Okay, <clears throat> well, I told myself I would never cry on YouTube, but I also said that I would always be transparent for you guys because you guys always write me and tell me that <clears throat> you are going through similar things or you love my transparency. So I decided that, you know, if this ever was to happen, that I would put it in a video. But anyway, I have some angels up there that are really watching over me and it brought reassurance and my whole mindset since then has changed. Um, something led me out of Psalms into Proverbs and Proverbs, I, it's really getting to me and I, I plan to read the entire Pro Proverbs because I've been asking God, you know, one of the things right now that I want, besides the things that I want to accomplish as far as the job, getting the house, um, monetizing YouTube, getting both of my channels on YouTube monetized, passing my exam. Besides that, one of the, the things that I really want is to be a wife. And something led me to Proverbs. And when I say God is so good, oh my God. Something led me to Proverbs. And as we all know, <coughs> in Proverbs, there is a Proverbs 31 and if you know the Bible Proverbs 31 is the woman that we all should inspire to be Proverbs 31 and I've been learning a lot about myself and how to be a better person with reading Proverbs and I haven't cried a lot this is the first day I cried in a while this is the first day I cried since probably like the week before Christmas um and I've stopped crying I've stopped crying and I've now gotten into the process of okay we're taking our emotions out of it and we're we're feeding our soul the journey that I am on right now is to feed my mind my body and soul so that's weight loss that's with the Bible and just being connected with good people and trying to be a good person so yes I am in Proverbs right now I'm still reading Proverbs I'm taking my time I'm highlighting I'm writing a lot and I'm almost at Proverbs 31 and God told me that your single season is about to be over. I manifest that I will be engaged this year. I am going to be engaged this year. I am going to be a wife in 2022. I am going to have my first child in 2023. I'm manifesting. I know that it's going to happen. And so God um, in ways tell me that I think I know who that person will be. Um, but again... We're not worrying about that part. We're just worrying about ourselves at, at this at this moment right now, because I have to be ready. Um, he's I'm a wife before he meets me, you know. Not when he says, "Will you marry me?" or whatever. So I don't know. I just been enjoying the single season. I have been. I can. Oh, and so I had before I go into that. So I had wrote this thing on Facebook and I mean on Instagram, and it was just talking about me not receiving seeing the results in my life and things like that and my homegirl i know you watching my homegirl monique says you've been going hard she said you've been going hard we are our own worst critics she said you got to make it through the winter for your flowers to bloom in the summer y'all i'm starting i can feel the growth i can feel the blessings coming in 
um I just really been tapped in to myself me on Instagram you will see that I post like me reading my Bible every night or journaling or you post I post my daily videos of me working out I post my weight loss pictures um but I feel I feel you know my blessings come in but I'm scared and faith and fear cannot coexist and it's crazy because the person that I said um that I know is going to be my husband that's one of his quotes and it's crazy that I'm quoting him but um that's something he lives by he's told me he said he said has had has said um before that faith and fear cannot coexist and I'm scared because I don't know what's on the other side of it but I'm excited because I know that there's great things on the other side of it but with change there is some type of fear um so I decided to enjoy my last season of singleness because this is going to be my last season season of singleness and so I've started to go I'm going on a this journey where I'm celebrating and doing things with myself um, and loving on myself even more even though I love myself a lot but I'm taking a road trip tomorrow so you guys if you don't follow my vlog channel go ahead and follow that because you'll see that I'm doing a little uh, road trip by myself tomorrow excited about that um and then I've already seen some things start to accomplish like I've had people some people reach out to me for as far as my YouTube um I just see my blessings coming I, my flowers are about to bloom they're about to blossom and I'm excited I told myself that I will be very transparent with you guys along my journey I will also learn to be vulnerable with the people in my everyday life about how I feel and what my expectations are and how I want people to treat me and that's the reason why I think God is a, want me to enjoy this last season of my singleness because he's saying that not even my single singleness but this last season of this part of my life that I'm in because he's saying that you're going to need to speak up for yourself in this next coming season of your life because you have you're going to have some great things coming and you're going to need to advocate for yourself social workers advocate advocate you're going to need to advocate for yourself and you're going to be you're going to be okay so super excited y'all had me on here crying but 2020 was a one hell of a year um but what y'all can expect for 2021 um like I said, if you do not already follow me on my vlog channel, my vlog channel is where I'm really going to show my transparency, really going to show myself and my journey um, and life. Here, I will be mainly be doing my social work videos and I also will try to incorporate a little bit of motivation on this channel because I love, you guys have been sending me paragraphs and paragraphs of stuff and I love it. And so I want to do more so like motivation and social work on this channel. But on my vlog channel, y'all are going to get me. Y'all going to get the goofy me. Y'all are going to get me in the journey that I go through. So, you know, my weight loss journey is going to be on there. My, I may vlog my single season. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I'm really a private person. So vlogging, you know, me dating and stuff like that. I don't really, uh, I don't really share that side and it's not supposed to be shared with everybody anyway because you're supposed to have a foundation established first that's what's wrong with people y'all like to put your business on social media too much but yeah so on that channel i would definitely be doing more so you know the journey of my life um putting you know my weight loss journey on there and i've been getting a great response on there my videos are doing pretty good for you know me not being consistent um and yeah i just wanted to bring you guys along on that channel that's more that's going to be more of my life that's my everyday my everyday life that's going to be more of that you know i want both of my channels to grow i have already have a thousand subscribers i'm in two thousand subscribers on this channel and we're going to get a thousand subscribers on that channel this year even more honestly i think that that channel will really thrive um because the niche is a lot bigger than this niche so yes i mean come ahead go ahead in the description box and subscribe to that channel 
but i am so excited for this journey i don't know how i'm going to manage all of this success that i'm about to get but this is everything that i've been praying for i'm about to be running two youtube channels full time my career is about to change my love life is about to change so and i'm ready for it so no matter how hard it get i'm gonna come back to this video and remember this that how no matter how hard it get i asked for it i prayed for it therefore i am equipped to manage whatever comes my way but above all you guys and all of the things that i went through let me say this i am blessed because god allowed me to live on this earth with this virus and for my family no one in my family to get this this virus i am blessed my family is blessed comment section let me know how your 2020 went and let me know what you have planned for 2021 and i thank you guys for watching this video as i said before if you're not subscribed to this channel go ahead and subscribe because we are almost at 2k and i thank you guys for all you done make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video